We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Boom! Oh, headshot! Hey, it's Clay. How's everybody doing? I got another Planet Side 2 video for you. And this time, I want to talk about Sunderers. I wanted to talk, um, just kind of explain how they work, what they do, because they're extremely important in Planet Side 2, and they're probably the one thing that uh, I have started using the most. And, uh, gal, they, I just cannot explain how important they are to your success on the battlefield. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, when it all comes down to it, uh, Planet Side 2 is really about you know, getting troops in the right location. So it's really about controlling spawn points, where your troops can spawn and where you guys are going to, you know, have a united push. As you can see, this Sunder I've placed down, all these guys keep spawning on it and I get a spawn bonus, which is awesome. Yeah, like three guys just spawned on me. Um, and so in order to get a Sunder, let's talk about that. You have to go to a vehicle terminal. Let's see if I can find one. I don't know if it's going to come up here on the map. So let's go ahead and find one. I know that there is one over here. If you can see on the mini-map, there are two little purple tank icons I'm running right, right directly towards in the middle of my crosshair. You go to one of these tank terminals. Um, these, these are vehicle terminals. There's one in the main uh, spawn place, and I would say most spawn locations have one too. Hit E and hit it, grab a Sunderer. Now, you need to have uh, at least, I believe it's 360 mechanized points, and you gain mechanized points. If Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Uh, it's depending on the territories you control. So let's go ahead and look. So we've got right here. Uh, so let's take a look at North Grove Post. This provides two infantry points um, per tick. Uh, this this over here, the West Foothills Air Dock, provides 10 uh, aerospace points per tick. And then let's see here. Let's find one with actually some vehicle. Here we go. This one right here. So... Um, the Sol Soltech Charging Station. This actually provides 10 mechanized points per tick. So this, um, let's take a look. So I just recently spent all my infantry points on a bunch of grenades, and I just spent some mechanized points on a Sunderer. Uh, and this will recharge over time, so you can go ahead and feel free to spend it. It's, it's, uh, it, it's based on the amount of time that you play on the map and the amount of territory that you control. So if you control more territory, uh, then you gain it faster. But if you just spend enough time in game, you will actually, you know, refill all these no problem. So you got to make sure you have enough mechanized points. Um, Sunder is actually pretty expensive, costing a 360. At one point it was about 400. Looks like there's a little bit of a discount going on right now. Um, <clears throat> so you just go ahead and spawn it in. Um, and then there's a couple of things to know about the Sunderer. Number one is that it can, you need to have um, an unlock for it. Let's go ahead and go to our certifications and go to our Sunderer. You really, really, really want this uh, SAMS, Sunder Advanced Mobile Station, and it will uh, act as a spawn point for your friendly soldiers. So you need, and it works for yourself too, so you really, really need to get this certification unlocked. I believe it's 50 certification points at the time that I unlocked it. That might be subject to change, but it was actually the second, the first thing I got was this red dot scope. And the second thing I got was that SAMS because um, I just I found it to be so extremely important to see. Look at how many guys have spawned on here. I mean, <clears throat> there's probably been 20 guys that have spawned on the Sunderer since I started this video. Um, so now one thing to know is that when you buy the Sunderer, only you can drive it. So I'm in right in the driver's seat right now. I can drive the Sunderer. Now the B button is the deployment button, and I'm not actually going to undeploy. But uh, when you get your Sunderer to a safe location, you want to go ahead and deploy it. Now, uh, spawn where you pl actually place your Sunderer is a very important tactic, and there's a lot of high-level strategy there. I'm not going to go into it too deep, but just know that I picked this location here because, uh, let's see, where am I at exactly? My team, we're, so this is, I'm in enemy territory. We're at the Econam Biolab, um, and I actually chose this spot because, number one, we control this um, mini checkpoint and also because it's right next to this jump pad right here so um, if we want to take this base we gotta jump up to the top and actually uh, take A, B, and C and uh, actually we're taking A and C right now so that's good so you have to you have to deploy it and you want to deploy it in a safe location because Sunderers are extremely important if you see an enemy Sunderer do whatever you can to take it out 
Uh, and if you have a sunroom nearby, do whatever you can to keep it alive because this is the number one most important thing in terms of transporting troops. Um, and the last thing, I, or one another thing I want to talk about here is on the side, you actually have one over here and you've got one on the other side as well. Um, these little computer terminals, you go up to it and hit E to access your equipment. You can resupply if you're out of ammunition. You can make changes to your, you know, if I want to take off that scope, put it back on. You can do all that here, right here. You can change to a, you can equip a max. You can go heavy assault if there are a bunch of vehicles. I mean, it's just, it is so powerful um, that it's such an important vehicle to your success um, in here on the on this continent. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to assault this base now. And basically, I feel like if we have any success up here, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think that... Um, like, all these guys over here, I'm pretty confident to say that a lot of them are here because I put my Sunderer in a good spot. So, yeah, it definitely is good to put down your Sunderers, and it's important. They're, they're, they, I just can't stress how important they are. It, they're, they're uh, as I get absolutely owned there. But, yeah, just wanted to help you guys learn the Sunderers, get that unlock, get them out on the battlefield. It's uh, it's You're using a rechargeable resource, so you might as well spend it. There's no reason not to. And as you can see... I can respawn on my own Sundra right now, and which is good because they're actually taking this capture point. Um, and they can really help things out on those on this game. Uh, you know, like I said before, controlling spawns and getting troops, you know, transported to the right areas is one of the most important elements of Planet Side 2. If you guys want to have some success, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about Sundras or comments um, or any tips or tricks that you think I left out, please let me know. Um, and also, if there's anything else you'd like to see, if you have questions about, please let me know as well. I am loving this game. Uh, it's been a couple days since they released it, and I can definitely foresee myself continuing to play it because it is awesome. Let's go ahead and get these guys revived. But I'm going to go ahead and sign out here, um, and I will see you guys again soon.